Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I'm going to be making romesco sauce. Oh, romesco, I'm not sure how you want to say it. That stuff, it's lovely. Hello, in this video I'll be making another dish which is keto friendly. It's uh, Spanish romesco sauce. It's a fabulous dip made with a roasted red pepper. The only ingredient I'm missing out is the toasted breadcrumbs or toasted croutons. So yeah, this will be great and it's, it's a beautiful dip full of flavour and I hope you really like this one. All right, I've got a red pepper and I want to char it all over, get it really black, really black. Um, I do it over the flame like so, but you could use a blowtorch. Sometimes you could put it under a really hot grill or broiler. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes the simplest things, right? Anyway, so I'm going to char that all over, get it into a bowl, and then I'm going to cover that with cling film, and that's going to help it sweat to make it easy to remove the skin. Now, by all means, if you want to make this dish a lot easier, just buy some jarred peppers that are already peeled and just use those. And again, if you want to make your life easier, why not buy nuts that have already got the skins off? What a what a work I made for myself here today. So those are uh, hazelnuts. Just boiling them for about a minute or so, just to get the skins ever so slightly loose. I'm gonna put them onto a into a bowl, and those are the almonds. And again, yeah, why not find some ones that are already skinned? And actually, you don't have to use these two nuts. These are the sort of traditional ones, but you could use any nuts that you like. It's up to you. And again, I'm covering those with cling film because they help to sweat and it's going to get the skins off a bit easier. So while those nuts and peppers are sweating, olive oil in the pan on a low to medium heat. And I am sort of gently pan frying the um, the garlic. Well, obviously you can see what I'm doing. It's garlic. But, and I'm just going to move it around, but at low heat now. okay? And don't be afraid. If you think it's going a bit too fast, turn the heat off because if you get this garlic too dark, it's gonna taste really nasty. So you choose the point where they're nice and golden brown, like so, absolutely lovely, and keep the olive oil that's going in a sauce. And there, look, that's nice. So traditionally, if you're making a classic romesca sauce, you'd also, um, you'd also fry some breadcrumbs, or sorry, croutons in the same oil, but I'm leaving that out because this is a low carb keto version. So now, the skin is softened and actually it would have been easier just to remove the skin first and then cut them in half and remove the stuff inside but either way it doesn't really matter so I've just cut this in half taken out the bits of pith and the most of the seeds and most of the black skin you see how easy and satisfying that comes out it's really satisfying and I'm just using a small knife there just scrape it off but I'm not going to stress about every single bit because you know, I like that charred flavour. If a little bit of that gets through into the sauce, it makes it more yummier. So just uh, take your time, get through that, and have a, you know, get rid of the rubbish there, get that into a bowl, and have a little tidy up. Always nice to keep tidy your workstation. And then just need to sort of dice these up into smallish pieces but don't worry about that because we're going to use a food processor to make this sauce and i, and I do apologize if you're just finding out you need a food processor i think you do you could probably use a pest and water or something like that but yeah and if you haven't got one let's just enjoy the rest of the video it's really entertaining here's me peeling the almonds now that came off really easy i was very pleased with how the almonds skinned nice and easy another way of skinning nuts is you can put them in the oven dry and uh, roast them for say 10-15 minutes and then rub them uh, like between a tea towel and all the skin should come off that way. Two ways of s doing it, or like I said earlier, maybe just buy nuts that are already uh, skinned, yeah. Anyway, hazelnuts done, almonds done, peppers are done, the garlics, let's get making this sauce. So into the food processor goes the peppers, the nuts, the garlic and the oil. And that's uh, the spices I'm using is a little bit of chili powder and some paprika. Zhuzh it up however you want to, it's yours. That was sherry vinegar, but you know, if you haven't got sherry vinegar, white wine or red wine vinegar will be fine. And just blitz it for a minute or so. In with some tomato puree or paste, depending on where you are in the world. Give that a blitz. The full recipe will be in the description, so look out for that. Have a taste. 
Yeah, it needs a little seasoning. And, well, a lot of pepper. I love pepper. And that's good. Right, that is Romesca sauce done. So the um, traditional one would be a little bit thicker, I guess. But uh, I'm really happy with that consistency. I think it's lovely. It makes a great dipping sauce. It's so tasty. And I like to zhuzh mine up a little bit with some olive oil, some a bit more seasonings, a bit more paprika, because it makes it look all nice and fancy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. So, romesco sauce. It's lovely. I've made this lots of times in the past, and it's gorgeous. And mm. It's not missing a thing, not having those croutons in there. If you wanted a bit thicker, you could cut back a little bit on the olive oil, or you could add a few more nuts. I'm sure that would be absolutely fine, but for me, that balance is great. It's really, really tasty. Mm. Nice bit of heat from the chili. If you don't like chili so much, don't put it in, or only put a little bit. Anyway, that is really lovely. I do recommend you give it a go if you're missing something with some texture, something crunchy and really tasty and incredibly healthy and delicious and all those really, really positive things. So thank you very much if you're watching this video. In my last video, I went out my way to thank YouTube for recommending the previous two videos, which they haven't been doing for a very, very long time. And then they didn't recommend that video. So what's up, YouTube? Don't you like me anymore? Anyway, so if you do like this and you think, actually, yeah, it's not bad, please, you know, like or subscribe, comment, share any of those things that would be really really grateful to you and help my channel grow anyway i'll catch you in the next video coming pretty soon Bye.